From space, our planet looks brilliant blue. Water covers nearly three quarters of its surface. The world's oceans are immense with more than 450 billion liters of water and more than 1 million species waiting to be discovered. Let's explore a few among them. Krill. Let's start with small organisms called krills. Krills are crustaceans, about the same size as their relatives, the prawns. These small creatures are eaten by whales, seals, seabirds, fish and squid. They are also harvested by people. Krills swim in swamps of millions that are often several kilometers long. Though they are small creatures, in terms of biomass, they are probably the most dominant species on the planet. Glass Jellyfish The transparent body of the glass jellyfish is lit with a fabulous display of rainbow colors, caused by chemical reactions in the jellyfish digestive system. The colors flash through the skin when the animal is disturbed. The light confuses the predators and may attract the prey. Like other jellies, it has a single body opening which both takes in food and expels waste. Viper fish The viper fish has needle-shaped lower teeth that are too long to fit inside its mouth. It uses them to trap prey that lures inside its mouth with a glowing fishing rod. Viper fish grows to around 30 cm long and feed largely on hatchet fish, which are around 8 cm long. Hatchet fish Hatchet fish has a narrow silvery body which looks like the blade of an axe or hatchet, hence its name. The hatchet fish has bulging eyes that help it spot prey in the dark and luminous patches in its mouth which attract the small creatures to swim inside. The pattern of light patches also helps hatchet fish to recognize the members of their own species, especially during the mating time. Deep Sea Dragons Deep Sea Dragons grow to a length of 30 cm. Rows of photophores or luminescent patches are arranged along the head of the Deep Sea Dragon and down on either side of its body. The male has more powerful lighting than the female. A long thread-like barbel hangs beneath the lower jaw which is highly sensitive to touch. The deep sea dragons use its photophores and barbel to detect the presence of prey. The photophores may also confuse and frighten the predators. The next creature is gulper eel. The gulper eel hides in a rocky crevice or lies in wait on the seabed for a victim to approach, then darts forward to attack. Its huge head and gapping jaws are out of proportion to the rest of its body, and it has a large expanding stomach that can accommodate any passing victim. It is also called the great swallower. It can partly dislocate its jaw to swallow bigger prey. The Giant Oarfish The giant oarfish lives in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans, swimming through the depths with a powerful whip-like action of its snake-like body. This creature was once the subject of terrifying legends. It can grow up to 9 meters long and weigh up to 270 kilograms. Like other deep sea fish, it has no special mechanism to help it withstand the water pressure, but cannot survive outside the depths where it is used to living. Silicant This huge creature is the last survivor of a group of fish that swam in the oceans 300 million years ago. Until recently, it was known only from the fossils. It was thought to have died with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. But in 1938, a living silicanth was caught in a trawler's net off South Africa. The legs of the first animals to crawl onto the land may have evolved from the fins of these fishes. Nautilus Unlike its relatives, the squid and octopus, the nautilus cannot hide from its enemy. Instead, it lives in a shiny protective shell. There are nearly 30 compartments inside its shell. The nautilus lives in the first largest chamber, while other chambers are filled with gases. Lionfish The lionfish has many other names like scorpionfish and firefish. It is one of the most poisonous of all sea creatures. Glands of deadly venom lie at the base of the spines, on its back, under its head and below its tail. It can paralyze any creature and even can kill a human being.